Okay, when you are clamping the cork, make sure that the pin is pointing horizontal and it's parallel to the table. Okay, when you are placing the ruler, you will position it somewhere in the middle of the pin and make sure that the ruler is not touching the cork so that it is free to swing like this. Okay, now I'm showing you how to balance the ruler. So now I'm holding it in a horizontal position and I'm letting go. You can see that the ruler is tilted to this side. So in order to balance the ruler, I need to add plaster stain to this side. And make sure that you add to the extreme end so that it doesn't affect the hanging of the weight later. Okay, so now we try again to see whether it's balanced. It's still tilted to this side. So I have to add more plaster stain to the to this side. I'm letting go. Okay, now I've over added the plaster stain such that it is tilting to this side. So I have to remove some plaster stain. Okay. Now I'm letting go again. If it doesn't fall within 3 seconds, that means it is balanced. Okay, let's take a look at this. 1 second, 2 second, 3 second. So this is considered balance. Okay, now I have positioned the weights such that the ruler is balanced. Okay, a lot of students have this misconception thinking that in order for the ruler to balance, they have to adjust until the ruler stays horizontal forever after they let go of their hand. This is not true. As long as the ruler does not fall within 3 seconds after letting go of your hand, it is considered balanced. Just like this. Okay, 1 second, 2 second, 3 seconds. 